Hi friends, it's Sarah from RuffelsAndRainBoots.com here with an almost two minute tutorial to make a ribbon farmhouse bow. Y'all look how cute that is. Perfect for gnomes, wreaths, anything you got. We're gonna use a glue gun, scissors, wire, and ribbon in different widths. So my primary ribbon for my project is going to be this adorable red and black number here. And for every width of ribbon, we're gonna cut three at six inches long. If you're using for uh, this bow on a large project or a wreath, you can go larger but mine is a medium sized project. If you wanna use it for a child's hair bow or a gnome, you can go smaller. So I'm going to be using, this is a pretty wide ribbon here. I think this is a two and a half inch burlap, um, but it's a great one because it's not that printed stuff. So you can actually fray this depending on your project. I wanna give a shout out to Miss Amber Strong of The Maker's Map. That's where I learned this technique. She has an amazing page over on Facebook that you can follow along and make some cool farmhouse crafts. All right, so once we have everything cut, we're gonna make an X with our widest ribbon and then cross that across the middle horizontally. Then we're gonna go our next widest ribbon in de decreasing order, and then we're gonna make an X and split that horizontally. So you would keep doing this, but I'm only gonna use two of my accent pieces because I really needed that plaid to work for my project. And so I'm gonna pick this up and then sort of zoom in you can see I'm scrunching it in the middle, but I also fan it backwards as I put the wire on to make sure you can see everything in the front is flat. Then I'm just gonna wrap that around and cut it off. If you're making this for a wreath or a large project, you can leave your wire long so that you can securely attach it. But for my piece, I'm going to be hot gluing it. For every single end of every single ribbon, I folded it lengthwise and cut from the ribbon fold all the way out to the point, giving it that cute little darted edge. Isn't that fun? By the way, you can use every, like anything you can think of. Um, I've so far used paper ribbons, which are just strips of paper. I've also used fabric, like you just rip fabric. Oh, so cute. All right, so to cover up my ugly bit in the center, I'm just going to fold my primary plaid ribbon in half and then secure it on with glue. If you have an embroidery needle and thread, you can go ahead and sew this on, but your girl is lazy and I'm using a hot glue gun because look how cute it is when it comes together. Bam! What do you think about this? Will you make this? Let me know down in the comments below if you think that this was worth a quick tutorial. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. As always, I sincerely appreciate it. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.